Hey, it's David Farmer. And today we're gonna to be looking at a content strategy that you can utilize across all areas of digital marketing, including social, video, display, and your dealership website. Hey, today we're gonna to be taking a look, uh, a closer look at a content strategy that you can utilize to help you increase engagement and increase leads and ultimately cars sold utilizing social media marketing, display advertising, video advertising, and then uh, also optimizing your dealership website for conversion. So we're gonna be looking at uh, how you can create different ad content for all of these platforms, and then also how you can layer in um, a lead conversion tools on your dealership website that correspond equally uh, right to the ad content. So let's go ahead and kind of dig into what I'm talking about here. Uh, so we're gonna be looking at the lead conversion platform from Entice. We are also gonna be looking at the digital marketing solutions that we provide, but the content strategy that I'm gonna be talking about today is something that you could be utilizing whether you utilize our services or not. So let's take a closer look. So. For us, for example, one of the things that we do is we pr provide this cohesive approach from our lead conversion tools, how they integrate into Google Analytics, Google Ads, we are a Google Ads uh, partner. Uh, we optimize the Google My Business platform or the uh, Google Business Profile, which is called now the Metaverse, right? With uh, Facebook and Instagram, Twitter advertising. We're gonna be looking at a couple examples there. YouTube advertising, in addition to video content for uh, the social media platforms, display advertising, and then how we can all bring that fully together by leveraging the uh, Google Data Studio reporting. So let's talk about social media marketing. I think this right now is one of the biggest areas that most dealerships could do a better job from a content standpoint to increase engagement. So let's look at Facebook, Instagram, Twitter uh, with Conquest and retargeting uh, marketing. So first of all, let's look at these ad specials. Now, our strategy with uh, creating content for our dealers is going to include leveraging all of the different model offers that your OEM is going to provide. Now, this is kind of contrary to uh, a lot of methodology that's out there right now, where you may only want to focus in on core product. But what's really cool about some of these platforms, such as Facebook, is they know a ton about the end user, just like Google does. And we can tap into those interest categories in the way that we set up our advertisements. So for example, if you have a customer that is looking for a SUV, we can create an SUV audience and then, and then utilize specific uh, ad content that includes SUVs to be able to deliver to those consumers. It wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to take a customer that's already uh, completed a ton of activity online around shopping for an SUV and then showing them a convertible advertisement or a truck advertisement. So what we do is we build out all of these different ads for each of your uh, individual uh, models. What we're looking at right here in this example is a square ad, a 1080 by 1080. This is one of our monthly ad specials. And as you can see, we're including a low APR offer and we are including a lease offer. Two of my favorite ways to be able to uh, advertise to consumers, a low payment, whether it's a lease or a loan, and really regardless of is uh, whether or not your dealership has a high lease penetration, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be advertising leases. The reason that you want to advertise leases is because you want to be able to show a low monthly payment, $389 a month with $2,900 down. That's affordable for a lot of consumers, whether they ultimately will lease a vehicle or purchase a vehicle, that part really doesn't matter. We want to be able to put an ad in front of a customer 
customer that is going to have some appeal to get them to engage with the ad, just like the 2.9% financing. So if a consumer is considering purchasing a vehicle, we have the opportunity to present an ad to the customer. And if that customer is a uh, it has a hot button of getting a low APR as something that's going to intrigue them into um, uh, into making that next step and clicking into the ad, this is a great way to do it. So, anyways. This is what we're looking at right now. This is a 2022 Dodge Durango. Uh, we are right now in the Make This the Summer event. So we're including that uh, in this advertisement. So it is going to be co-opable for your dealership. Um, and then uh, also what you're going to find with the way that we advertise, not only are we going to have core products such as the Durango, but we're actually going to build out ads for each one of your models that are available. So um, you can see here in this example, we got 10 different variations of this ad. And this is in a 1080 by 1080 ad size. Now, if you're familiar with advertising in Facebook, you know that there's going to be different placements available for different ad sizes. So in addition to the 1080 by 1080, we're gonna take all of these specials and we're also gonna build them out in a 1080 by 1920 dimension ad size. This is gonna give us additional ad placement uh, places uh, on the Facebook and the Instagram uh, advertising uh, platform. So all of the uh, advertisements that we have in the 1080 by 1080, we duplicate that in a 1080 by 1920. So that's going to give us 20 different variations in this case. And uh, you can see all the 10 different variations right there. Again, all compliant, utilizing low lease payments, special APR financing, rebate offers, whatever is available from the manufacturer, we're gonna layer into these ads. Now, additionally, we create a 1200 by 628, another ad size that is available from uh, the Facebook and Instagram uh, ad placements. We also utilize these ads and put them as posts on your Google business profile. So we optimize monthly your Google business profile with ad placements, which is available for free uh, to your dealership. Now, other things that we do for the Google business profile is we include a data feed of fresh new uh, vehicle inventory that automatically feeds into posts, which is going to optimize the uh, Google My Business platform, which is gonna give your dealership more visibility and more free organic traffic. So now we're looking at 10 in the 1080 by 1080, 10 in the 1080 by 1920, 10 in the uh, 1200 by 628. So that's 30 different ad variations that we're gonna be able to present to consumers. So you can see all the, those uh, 10 different variations right there. Now, additionally, I wanna share with you what these ads will look like and how we put them into your social media marketing. The Facebook, mar uh, the Facebook uh, marketing platform really is, I think, an underutilized solution uh, by most dealerships. And one of the reasons is because of the ad content strategy. You don't have enough variation of ads that you're presenting uh, to consumers and you're not refreshing them on a monthly basis. You might have one or two different ads that you run for three or four months at a time. Uh, what we do is we, 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 we take this massive approach for massive variation in ad content, update them and optimize them on a monthly basis. Now, as a customer is flipping through a mobile device, which is the primary device that consumers are interacting with on uh, for your dealership website and social media marketing platforms, uh, they're ultimately going to uh, roll up and into your ad. One of the ads that we're going to utilize, as you can see right here, is a carousel style ad. Now, we create these different ad groups based on the uh, available interest groups that's available, such as a SUV uh, interest group that's available. And we're going to use a combination of a first party audience, which we might get from a retargeting list from your, retargeting list from your dealership website, a lookalike audience based on that 
first party. We also uh, deal, we have a partnership with uh, Polk, which used to power the Oracle data uh, solution inside the Facebook marketing platform. And we can bring in uh, specific in-market consumers uh, to be able to uh, make sure we're getting your ads in front of the right people. One of the ad types that we use is a carousel ad, which you saw in that. And we got other ad types that we can utilize these images for inside Facebook. But really what I want to be able to talk about today is more of a content standpoint. Now, video advertisement, in my opinion, is really one of the best ways to engage with consumers, not only in social media uh, from Facebook and Instagram, but also through uh, YouTube. What I want to share with you uh, in this next example is an example of a video that, that uh, we create again for our clients. But the strategy is something that you could implement with whatever advertising agency that you're utilizing. And we take all of the uh, specials and we build a video version of that special that's highly visually engaging. So as a customer is flipping through their feed, we're going to be able to engage that customer, whether they have the audio on or off as they're flipping through. And we also build those ads in uh, uh, multiple ad sizes in a 1080 by 1920, which is more of a, a TV style uh, uh, dimensions of an ad, but we also build out a square version of that ad, which is kind of like uh, what we utilize in YouTube for their shorts, which gives us really much more real estate on that digital device. I mean, if you think about it, you're, you, you have a rectangle that's going to fit into a, a portrait style a telephone. We're only going to have about one third the space where if we can create a new version of that ad that utilizes more real estate, we're going to be able to open that up and take over, you know, 50% or more of that screen. So this is an example of a video uh, for uh, this particular dealership that's in that square style 1080 by 1080 uh, video side inside of Facebook as a customer might be flipping through and seeing this in their feed. At the all-new Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Tampa Bay, get great prices and payments on over 500 new and used vehicles. Financing as low as 0% APR with zero down payment. During the Make This the Summer event, get all the facts at Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Tampa Bay.com. So in this example, again, you are looking at a, uh, a video ad placement in social media marketing that we create on a monthly basis. So now we're up to three different uh, display ad sizes times 10, that's 30 different ads, plus 20 different video ads based on the two different ad sizes and the 10 specials. So now we're up to 50 different ad variations that we're gonna be able to present to customers specifically based on their, their online engagement and intent. Uh, so we're really gonna be able to optimize the content that we're providing uh, for uh, advertisements. This example right here is a 1920 by 1080 ad version of this. And another thing I want you to think about is as you're watching this video, thinking about how we're engaging customers with these videos. These are not designed to be utilized for standard television placements or cable placements, although they definitely could be. They're really highly optimized and designed for consuming from a computer desktop and or a mobile device, which if you think about how you're engaging with the content, it is different. Like when you're watching TV, you're laid back, you're watching from a distance, the scope and scale of the content is gonna be different than it would be is if I'm hunched over and I'm looking at my phone and I'm within a foot or two of the device and how I'm reading the information, how it's being presented to me. Same thing from a desktop standpoint. We have that desktop, uh, 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 presentation of the video and how we're engaging with that. So this right here is an example of a 1920 by 1080. And I'll kind of review some of the um, uh, content uh, uh, points that we've built into these ad templates uh, to be able to engage customers in a little bit different way. So let's go ahead and play this real quick. At the all new Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Tampa Bay, get great prices and payments on over 500 new and used vehicles. Financing as low as 0% APR with zero down payment. 
during the Make This the Summer event. Get all the facts at Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Tampa Bay.com. So a couple of things that you'll notice with this ad, I'm, I'm actually gonna play it and I'm going to uh, mute it so I can kind of just uh, pause it in a couple different places here. So first of all, we're gonna have some engagement, a lot of different movement um, with color and white space to grab the customer's attention. Uh, we move into the next section of the video. Again, uh, we're bringing in some, some confetti, some loud noises, again, using uh, uh, the great way that video can engage consumers. Um, we have the phone number and address down at the bottom. Hopefully we can create some engagement uh, in, in those two areas. And then we have a, a ticker, uh, kind of a ticker tape going across the screen, um, which is providing more information about the dealership, the different offers they might have, such as maybe lifetime warranty, or in this case, a $25 test drive offer or an express cash offer. And then at the end of the video, what you're gonna see is we're gonna roll into whatever monthly special that might be going on. In this case, it's make this the summer event. Maybe it's the uh, the Ford summer clearance or the, the big one uh, a Toyota event. I think it's a great idea to tap into the millions of dollars that the tier one advertising is doing, associate it with your dealership. So if they're thinking about buying a car, they're thinking about buying a car right now because it's the make this the summer event, and then they're gonna think about buying a a vehicle from you because we're making that association. At the end of the video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a specific call to action. Now the call to action that we're gonna do from a video standpoint isn't necessarily gonna be the click. Uh, a lot of people don't click a video ad to get more information like they do a display ad or a Facebook ad, but they're gonna look at it and we're gonna to try to plant a seed. Uh, the seed that we're gonna plant in this case is to get all the facts, go to the dealership's website URL, and we visually sh show that in the ad placement itself. Um, again, creating that call to action. All right, let's go ahead and uh, take, uh, uh, let, let's, let's uh, take a, a next approach here. This again is the same video uh, 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 template, just in a little bit different ad size. Let's go ahead and take 20 seconds and watch this. Restart it here with some audio. At the all new Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Tampa Bay, get great prices and payments on over 500 new and used vehicles. Financing as low as 0% APR with zero down payment. During the Make This the Summer event, get all the facts at Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Tampa Bay.com. All right, so another thing that you'll notice is that this is a 20 second spot, not a 15, not a 30, something a little bit different, but it, we went with the 20 second spot because we're not trying to fill the traditional 15 or 30. 20 seconds gives us just enough time to talk about the dealership, the offer, uh, the tier one offer, and then our call to action. Uh, so that's what we do for that 20 second. All right, let's go ahead and Let's talk about, okay, so we take all of these uh, ads and we also put them on your YouTube channel so we can create some organic um, uh, engagement as well. Uh, all of the uh, plays that we're getting from a paid standpoint are also gonna show up in all these ads. So you can see that we're getting thousands of views on these videos um, for your dealership. And again, that we're gonna update and add more content to your YouTube channel that we utilize in the advertisements through our YouTube, YouTube advertising. And then these same ads are being utilized across Instagram and Facebook. All right, so we're gonna shift gears a little bit here and then we're gonna talk about uh, digital display, data-driven digital display ads specifically. Now, I do believe that digital display is the number one underutilized platform by dealerships to be able to communicate advertising messages. One of the reasons that I believe that is most advertising agencies, the content strategy that they're utilizing 
also is similar to what we see in social media marketing, well, where, where and video, where they'll create one or two different variations of ads, and then they'll they'll use that. But then it gets to the point where you get you get ad fatigue relatively fast. So what we've done is we've built out a whole uh, massive content strategy that's available for display advertising as well. One of the other challenges in doing display advertising right uh, and having all this different variation of ad content is that it's hard. It's hard to create the ad content, get it loaded, get it approved, and then get it uh, placed, get it budgeted, and then uh, optimize and manage the, the daily spends and impression counts and everything else. One of the ways that we've overcome that challenge is we've actually created a technology integration between the Google marketing platform and the Entice dealer portal that creates a, a, a data-driven approach um, so we can make our changes to the ad content inside our dealer portal, which will automatically flow directly into the uh, the the a Google marketing platform. Now, the approach that we take here uh, with uh, data-driven display advertising campaign is going to be twofold. One, a retargeting approach and a conquest approach. From a retargeting approach, we are going to engage consumers based on their activity on your dealership website, and we target that activity two different ways. Number one, from a search results page uh, engagement. So if a customer goes to your dealership website, they search for a particular type of vehicle, we're going we're gonna to track that information. So if they're looking for an SUV, they're looking for that Durango, they make that search for a Durango, we, we're, we're going to retarget that customer based on that Durango content. We also do it based on their uh, lead conversion status. So for example, if they convert to a lead, we're not going to retarget those consumers because we've got that customer in the next step of the funnel. And we're going to retarget that customer a little bit differently. And we're going to target that customer a little bit differently with email and other uh, display advertisements. But our search results page advertising is going to be for non-converted customers. And we leverage a strong CTA or call to action with our $25 Visa reward card offer to those consumers. We also retarget customers based on a uh, VDP retargeting approach. This is where we track all of the vehicles that a consumer visits on your dealership website. When they leave your site and go to uh, up to 2 million different websites on the internet, including tier one automotive third-party sites like autotradercars.com, uh, car gurus, we can retarget those customers with your advertisements and we build out these specific VDP uh, re retargeting ad units. So, I mean, if I show you real quick here, and you can see this advertisement uh, right here is one of our VDP retargeting ads. The image that you're looking at right here uh, is the Make This the Summer Sales Events, where we include that, uh, that Tier 1 event. But this is actually the final uh, image in a... Uh, in a, uh, a dynamic, high-resolution slideshow of vehicle images right from your dealership website. If I just do a quick refresh on this, it's going to load back in, and it's going uh, to pull in these high-resolution images right from your dealership's uh, website. And, and you can see here, it's bringing in those images. These are specific vehicles that a customer looked at on your dealership website. The images are going to take up 50% of the ad space. You can see the multiple different ad sizes that we have running with that particular vehicle. And you can see I'm getting uh, targeted by that one vehicle because that's the one vehicle that I visited on the dealership's website. And it's going to refresh uh, through those uh, images. And then most importantly, when a customer clicks on this ad, um, uh, you're going to see that the customer would go right back to the dealership's VDP. And we have uh, UTM coding built right into the URL. So that's going to flow right into Google Analytics, both in uh, Universal Analytics and the new uh, GA4. So everything that we do is optimized for both. Um, 
If I scroll down here at the bottom, you're gonna see also some examples of our SRP retargeting. Now these will also build in, um, uh, uh, these will also build in, you can see right there how that kind of builds in. Uh, and then if I click on this, it's gonna bring me back to a search results page, in this case for a challenger. All right, so that's, that's some examples of our retargeting that we do. From a conquest standpoint, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build out um, uh, multiple ad sizes, which we did for BDP retargeting too. I think we have six that we do for BDP, four for we do for conquest, um, and the conquest ads we're gonna use uh, strong uh, 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 messaging such as utilizing the tier one event, other information about the, via the dealership itself. And then we're gonna layer on top of that one of the 10 different um, ads that we would have running uh, uh, for that month. And in this case, you can see that we got to make this the summer sales event. And then if I go to my next page here, it's gonna load in on top of it um, uh, our challenger ad unit. So in addition to the challenger ad, we're gonna have all 10 different variations. So if we're doing the math on this, uh, other than you know the VDP retargeting, we're gonna have six different ad sizes times the amount of vehicles that you have in stock. So we're gonna have thousands of different variations for VDP retargeting. Uh, for SRP retargeting, we have the uh, five ad sizes. Uh, from and then all of the different models. So again, we're looking at uh, hundreds of different variations for SRP retargeting. The conquest advertisements, we have the four uh, ad sizes times the ten different um, uh, the ten different model advertisements that you have. Uh, so we have hundreds of conquest variations uh, that's going to be available in our conquest advertising uh, for digital. And all of the digital ads are going to have that dynamic UTM codes. So it's going to deposit all that information uniquely into Google Analytics, UA or GA4. Here's a screenshot real quick of the uh, of the um, uh, VDP retargeting as well. So now, uh, before we get into this next section, which we're gonna talk about lead conversion on your dealership website, let's just do kind of a quick recap of the content strategy that we're recommending that you utilize. And this is a massive amount of variation in ad sizes, in ad content, and uh, it, also in where we have these uh, uh, ads placed for your dealership. And if you utilize Entice as a, an advertising partner, these is, this is what we do. If you're utilizing a different uh, advertising partner, the questions I would be asking them is, how many different ad variations are you utilizing? Um, uh, how many different ad sizes are you using? How many different ad groups are you using? What is your uh, audience creation uh, a strategy? Are you using uh, first party data? How are you using first party data? Are you using third party data? And making sure that you're not competing with your individual ad groups uh, uh, inside of Facebook, which can have some, uh, some bad consequences if you're not utilizing that correctly. And then video content. What is your video content strategy for social media marketing, for YouTube, for Facebook? What ad sizes are you utilizing? How many different variations? What's your targeting on YouTube or on Facebook? And then once the customer engages with those ads, which they're going to, uh, on your dealership website, how have you optimized your site for lead conversion and to create the continuity between the ad content and the landing page experience. So first thing, one of the things that we do is we have a $25 Visa test drive offer. Turnkey solution, incentivizing the right customers with the right offer is a great way to generate leads uh, from your dealership's homepage, your search results page, your vehicle detail page, and incentivizing that behavior. It can, uh, our system would allow you to use a customized Visa reward card in any denomination, $10, $25, $50, $100, 75 whatever you wanna do. 25 is what we have found to be the, um, uh, to be kind of the sweet spot 
Additionally, if they don't convert through our entrance notification or through any of our uh, other CTAs on your dealership website, we're gonna hit them with an exit intent uh, at the point that they intend to uh, uh, leave your dealership website. Another way to increase lead conversion. We also have our express cash offer uh, solution, which can be added in our uh, uh, interactive banner right to a search results page like you can see right here. And this is where a customer can enter in their VIN, their plate, or they can just select from a year make model and start the process. Keep keeping the customer right on your dealership's URL. We also have the ability to have the same interactive banner right on your home page of your dealership's website. We can also add our conversion block, which is going to include all of our different CTAs, uh, such as uh, getting an offer, getting a free credit score, scheduling a test drive. Uh, they can even get their Kelly Blue Book a value if they don't have their plate or their VIN. And then inside our conversion block, we can also have integration right to your chat provider. So they can click the chat click, uh, uh, or click the call on mobile. It's a great way to engage consumers. And then we can uh, enter that conversion block also right onto your VVP, uh, a great way to be optimized for that. Before we get into our newest tool, which is our, our specials companion site, I wanna share with you some examples of how you can advertise a specific call to action on social media marketing uh, for Facebook, Instagram, and for Twitter. An example here, express cash offer putting you yourself in a position to be able to compete with companies like Carvana, CarMax, AutoNation with engaging uh, advertisements. Here's some different examples that we create for our dealers. We create, uh, I wanna say 25 or 30 different uh, uh, ad creations and multiple ad sizes, two different ad sizes, square and the rectangle. And we create uh, animated GIF using some uh, animation, uh, utilizing uh, confetti, a great way to catch the attention as customers are just flipping past your, your, your competition's uh, ads. A couple different uh, versions uh, right there and different ad sizes. Uh, great ways to utilize this type of ads on social media marketing uh, uh, and on Twitter. Lastly, what I want to talk about is our uh, companion site. So if you're still with me, I appreciate it. I think we're uh, about 30 something minutes into this video, but we're going to get things wrapped up here momentarily. Now, we've created a companion website uh, that gets installed on your dealership's subdomain, and we integrate this with Google Analytics. So basically what this does is it allows us to create these lightning fast lead conversion pages on your dealership website, utilizing your domain and Google Analytics code with an integration there, so you never lose visibility. It's just like adding special pages right to your dealership website, regardless of what website provider you use. If you use dealer.com or dealer inspire or dealer on, we can add a companion site to a subdomain, for example, express.yourdealershipurl.com. On these pages, we have uh, a search results page with all of your offers. Uh, and then we also have a, uh, a, a specials display page. So for example, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just pop over uh, to one of these examples right here. This is a, a Honda dealership. Uh, you can see here, I'm gonna go right over to see special offers. And you can see that we have our credit score express, uh, our express cash offer uh, and uh, uh, interactive banner right on top. And then we have all of these specials in the specials search results page. All of the text um, in, in these advertisements become search engine optimization juice. <laughs> Uh, so uh, this all become this all gets uh, indexed by Google. It's all published content. So it's like almost each every, each and every one of these ad specials is a blog post, which is great optimization for SEO. And then if a customer engages with a 1.9% advertisement on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, on uh, 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 Google Ads. Um, through the Google Display, Google Display Network with our Conquest ads, if they click on that, we're gonna drop them on this page right here, 
full visibility into Google Analytics, full visibility with your dealership website, just like a separate page on your dealership website. And then if a customer wants to get more information or look at different offers that you have, such as the lease special, Here's the full dis full disclosure for that right here. Fully compliant with uh, the OEMs. Here's the APR special. Here is the, any, uh, any other national offers or programs that you might have. Uh, this all gets updated on a monthly basis. And then we're going to layer in additional lead conversion tools, such as get pre-qualified, get your free credit score, get uh, get. Uh, your trade-in value, get a real offer, get a Kelly Blue Book value, schedule a test drive, all of that's available. And we have all of these additional um, uh, uh, images that we, we include in this carousel. I can even click into that and look at all of these ads. So it's just like a vehicle display page for your special, and each one of these is going to be um, uh, SEO content, since it's pu published content on your dealership website. So we call these our companion uh, sites. Uh, they include uh, all of the ad specials, all of our conversion tools, and we'll also publish your dealership's inventory right into these pages as well. And the reason that we do that is this is also going to add additional SEO for each one of your vehicles since they get indexed. Uh, and then we include all of the lead conversion tools in the SRP and then also on the, uh, the VDP. So if somebody's searching from a, uh, a GMC, this is gonna add uh, SEO content for your top level domain. So I'm gonna go ahead and get things wrapped up today. Uh, I always appreciate the opportunity to be able to share this information with you. Uh, a little bit longer video today, but as a, a final recap, um, and the biggest takeaway is take a look at your content strategy. In this industry, the automotive industry, we talk about where we're advertising, making sure that we're utilizing uh, social media marketing, we're utilizing digital uh, content, um, uh, different uh, content channels, we're utilizing third-party sites, uh, and we're utilizing and optimizing your dealership website for speed and, and so on. But uh, having a, 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 an additional uh, focus on the content and the amount of content that you have in your advertisement is going to be what separates your dealership from your competitors and allow you to dominate um, digital marketing in 2022 and beyond. You're going to find this video plus many others at entice.com.